to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today, we've got a good matchup in store between the Arkansas Travelers and the Frisco Rough Riders. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Into the box, Luis Liberato, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Hit out towards second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first down. So now to the plate, Cesar Torres, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. Here now the 2-2. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, he takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. In now, Dom Thompson Williams. That's a ball. And there's ball two now. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful of that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. One out and a runner on second base. He three. takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That is cool. the Next, field. it'll be Eric Filia, runner in scoring Filia. position with two gone. Here's the 3-1. in there base hit he'll come home with it the tag and he is out at the play so much for our first run of the ball game so now here is Yoni Hernandez it'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first pulls this one into the air out into right field Philly is there to put it away for route number one Next to hit is Ryan Doro. Doro. One one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now a swing and a little bouncer. Softly hit to the right side of the mound. And there's out number two. The batter will be Josh Young. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Yeah. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Whitty is there, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Jake Shiner. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Are up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. 
batting fifth. The first baseman, Jansen Witte. So now to the plate, Jansen Witte. Still one and two as he fouls it away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Striding forward now is the DH, Dylan Thomas. Thomas. The 1-1. One, one. Now 2-1. Pops this one up. Young is under it. Two gone. And now here is David Masters. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Now the one and one pitch. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. All even now, two and two. Shiner is off of first with two away. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Bubba Thompson. Now the 2-1 pitch is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Carl Chester will be next. Bonnie bailed him out with a swing three and two now. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So next to hit is Carl Chester. Bottom of the second here with no score. A ball and two strikes now. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. That is good. The right field. Oh, that To the plate now, Alia Hernandez. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And a relay home. But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Julio Pablo Martinez. Into the box, Julio Pablo Martinez. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch Kevin. anyway, and he becomes the out Kevin. number two. Kevin. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. On the ground, softly towards second. He's right there. Throw in oh. time, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jose Godoy, and they could use a spark from him here. And it's fouled away. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command, and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Now that left here. Luis Liberato. At the plate now, Luis Liberato. Cue shot here out towards short. But this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now it'll be Cesar Isturiz. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Godoy, base runner at first with one out. Line drive, base hit. At the plate, Dom Thompson Williams. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he set down for the second time this afternoon. Striding in is Eric Filia. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. The runner from first crosses the plate. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Now that the third base. Into the box now. Jake Shiner hit hard back up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Now that is the first baseman. Jansen Witte. In now, Jansen Witte. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Leading off the inning, it'll be Kyle Blake as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Ball and two. this one's up around the eyes, two and one. I got two one to count. Eight. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Fouled off. Low roller left side. And that's the first out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Yoni Hernandez. Over one here in the early going. Fouled away. The 2 2. Hit back toward the mound. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. So now to the plate, Ryan Doro. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Josh Young will be next. Grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The relay. And he'll get in there safely. Now batting. Third base. Stepping in now. Josh Young. In for strike two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up of the zone. But he got away with it. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Next to dig in, Bubba Thompson. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has and we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. into the box Dylan Thomas he popped out in his first trip yeah I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air but he can't collapse the backside and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat look the for him to stay a little taller two. and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. yeah guys he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball you could tell he was out in front on that slider I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. got him swinging on the fastball there mm -hmm. Dylan Thomas becomes the first out of the inning and he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Chester is under this one. Two gone. So the next to bat will be Jose Godoy. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Now the 2-1. Right side. Throw cleanly oh. into first, and that ends the inning. Ready now is Carl Chester. He doubled his last time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. 
Philia is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Digging in next, Aliyah Hernandez looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Here comes the one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next will be the designated hitter, Julio Pablo Martinez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. New inning set to get underway and standing in the outfielder Luis Liberato. The one two is laid off for ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Three and two full count into the windup ready with the payoff pitch swing and a line drive. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again. Three and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Winston Valentine, 5'10 right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Digging in, the switch hitter, Cesar Torres. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Lifted down the line and left, but this will wind up being a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. And now in the box, Dom Thompson Williams trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and digging in is the switch hitting catcher Kevin Mendoza. And now a fastball but he's able to hold off on it and it's two and one now. Drilled on the ground is short. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now that is. So here is Kyle Blake who Kyle. bounced out last time up. Boy. The 2 1 is in there for the second strike. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The, the second baseman. Yoday. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next it'll be the outfielder, Eric Filia. The 1-1. One, one. It's a changeup that gets him off balance for a strike. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now with the plate is Jake Shiner. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. High and deep to left center field. Center fielder looking up at the track. The wall. Gone. To the plate now, Jansen Witte. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next one two pitch. Ball two. Ball two. Now 
looked like the fastball got away from him there. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Full count still. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Another one sent foul. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Dylan Thomas, who has sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Dylan Thomas sent packing for route number two in the sixth. The 1-1. One, one. Still one and two. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now another one, two. Inside and a hair low. Two it's two balls two and two strikes. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Payoff pitch home, and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Blake has got it, and the side is retired. Domingo Tapia enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 45, Domingo. At the plate now is Ryan Doro. He doubled his last time through. Try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Now batting. Stepping up is Josh Young. A pop out and a ground out for him to this point. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again. One, two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take He's it to out. the bag himself for the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Bubba Thompson. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1 1 home. Two balls, one strike, and a count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. Big velocity up and in for a strike, too. I mean, you saw this guy flinch at the plate. He was thinking that buzzed the tower, but then to get it popped to strike is tough. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. So stepping in is Jose Godoy, a hit in two tries so far. Now the 2 1. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. 
Digging in will be Luis Liberato. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Liberato. In there at the letters. One and two now. Hard sinker misses two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. On to first, and there were two down. Now to bat, Cesar is tourist. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. High in the air out to center field. Thompson will get there and he puts Ladies it away to retire the side. The Wyatt Mills will take over now on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 40, Wyatt Mills. Stepping in once again is Carl Chester. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. One Some ball. teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look yep. for one or two big swings to make it happen. Ready with the two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, and he makes the catch in the corner. So next to bat will be Elia Hernandez. He's one for two in the ball game. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Stepping in next, Julio Pablo Martinez. He went down on strikes last time up. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. First and hustling for second. And hold all tickets now as the time run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Now At the plate now, Kevin Mendoza. Outside two and one. Taken strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. John Giordano has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now to the plate, Dom Thompson-Williams. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. The 1-1 home. Is swung on and missed for strike number ball, two. two yeah. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the leg. He'll try again, one, two. This is on the ground over to first. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. Now back. Eric. Standing in now, Eric Filia. And the count will be full. Thompson Williams gets his lead at first, nobody out. And another foul ball. The next three, two. to right field and deep. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone! In now, Jake Shiner. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. 
Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Got a full count. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Hit hard towards the hole. That gets through for a base hit. How about the game he's having? Now four for four. Now batting. The first baseman. Now a throw over to first. He's good. And he's back in standing. Into the box now. Jansen Witte. One Count and two. One and two. Popped him up. Hernandez over to his left. One away. And stepping in, Dylan Thomas. Now he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Dylan Thomas. One one. Nope. Still only one out in the inning. He's fallen nope. behind Outside. now. Three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another Pebble great down. hitting count. The three two pitch. Grounded up the first baseline to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Jack Anderson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 76. Yeah. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Kyle Blake. Liner towards second. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Now that second baseman. Yone. At the plate, Yoni Hernandez. This is pulled into right. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Next, it'll be Ryan Doro. He went down on strikes that's last time stop. up. Runners on first with one down. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, tying run on deck, he should get something really good to hit right here. And now, meanwhile, here's a ball headed out toward deep left center field, and this is going to clear the wall. A home run. Stepping in now, Josh Young. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Gone! They've tied the game on back-to-back -back home runs. Vinny <laughs> Natoli answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. So now to the plate, Bubba Thompson. Outside, that's and ball. this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d ah. what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. You know, d one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, okay. and it was Thank obvious you. in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. This is on the ground over the first. Throw gets him, Got two it. down. Up next, Carl Chester. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One one count, the pitch. No, inside. Ah, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. 
Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough He's pitch right. to keep fair. Full count, three and two. On the ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Chris Kapotic will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. All set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the second baseman, David Masters. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And now, Jose Godoy, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Bases are empty, one man in. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Ball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Now back to the top of the lineup, now stepping in, Luis Liberato. He grounded out last Liberato. time up. And the 2 1. Swing and a liner. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up the outfielder Aliyah Hernandez he's set and the 2-1 pitch two. Two balls, two strikes. full Can't count now move. three and two Julio Pablo Martinez waits on deck. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. And that's out number one. Next up, Julio Pablo Martinez is working on a one for three thus far. Three two pitch. And that's lifted the other way out to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Next up is Kevin Mendoza. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Thompson Williams gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. We are into extra innings and coming forward now is the shortstop Cesar Estouris. The one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike. Ball Never three. tempted to swing at that ball down three, low. Three it's ball three. three. One Pulls this one in the air out to left. Chester is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Big now, spot here. And it'll be Dom Thompson oh. Williams. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. The one and one pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulled the two. string on him. One and two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change. The dreaded equalizer. He got him to miss the breaking ball there. Dom Thompson Williams goes down for out number two in the top half. The set and the 1 1 to first. Low in time, and the side is retired.
Johan Ramirez comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Now at the plate, Kyle Blake, and he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. The one and one pitch fouled away. Now the one and two pitch. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Now that Chance to walk it off. Base. And now here is Young Hernandez. The winning run stands at second base. There's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time. And there are two gone now. So now into the box is Ryan Doral. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Yeah, he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no-doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. Now the one and two pitch. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. A full count now, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you uh, will leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Travis Reeder takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 38. 11th inning set to get underway, and set to go is the third baseman, Jake Shiner. Look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Into the box, Jansen Witte. Hit high and deep to right center. Thompson is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Next to stand in is Dylan Thomas, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. And there are two away now. Now to the plate, here is David Masters. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Fouls this one off. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Hernandez able to track it down for the third out. Gets the call from the pen, and they've saved him for the 11th as he'll try and take this one home. Into the box, Josh Young. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. The 1 2. And it's fouled away. Another 1 2 delivery. Grounded to short. Bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Bubba Thompson, rounded out in his last at-bat. Runner at second here with one man out. Fouled off. A 
trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Last chance here, and stepping in is Carl Chester. Though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. The 1-1 home. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Again, he sends it out of play. Men on third with two down. Swing and a liner. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. In now, Aliyah Hernandez. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Swing and a liner. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. So they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. And this afternoon's closes at a one-run game, 7-6 to six today. Johan Ramirez is credited with the win. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Blazak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious travelers seven runs on 12 hits no errors they left seven men on base for the rough riders six runs nine hits no errors they left six men on base time of the ball game three hours and 42 minutes thank you for joining us here this afternoon and we remind you to please Drive home safely.